For years now, government's affirmative action has been to empower women in all sectors of development. The United Nations Development Program statistics indicate that 38% of institutions in Uganda like parliament, ministries and the private sector are headed by women. However, the already empowered women are at times accused of not lifting others. Karo Kabugo hails from Bundibujo district. She's a middle-born of nine children in her family. Even with a big family, Kabugo's parents, who were teachers, educated all their children. This, in a way, placed Karo in the limelight. She walked in the footsteps of her parents. Students were at physics, science work, uh, subjects, basically. So I knew I would either be an engineer or I would, my parents wanted me to be a doctor, but I, I loved to be a, a science teacher. However, Carol's change of heart came after a radio announcement of government's plan to cut down recruitment of arts students. I said, what? what? What did I put myself into? So I'm not going to get a job because I'm going to study for only three years and I don't have where to work. There and then I changed my mind. Carol confesses she witnessed miracles in her life. Being a total orphan did not stop her and her success ladder was just at the start. Changing her mind to become a lawyer, she was encouraged by her uncle to join Kampala International University without any other option. We had people who had done law, uh, diploma in law, and they were submitting in class the constitution, article this of, of the constitution of the law. And I'm like, okay, Carol, calm down. This, they learned it, you also learned. So for me, it was either I pass or I pass. There was no failure in my mind. After completing university, joining LDC was a hassle since she had no money, but was shortlisted on government scholarship. So whenever I would meet friends of my mother or my father, who knew that now Carol was an, a total orphan, they would give me money like, let's say 20,000, I, 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 got, I got a box. And whenever someone would give me money, I would eat only 1,000 or 2,000. The 18,000, I would drop it in the box. She had a diploma from Law Development Center, a requisite for any aspiring lawyer to start practicing. Kabugo looked for employment at the same time, caring for her siblings. This hustle was about to change with another advert on radio while in Bundibujo. And uh, when I was uh, registered of titles, I worked for three years. I felt I needed, I needed to serve the public more than what I was doing at, at Ministry of Lands. I felt I wasn't giving back to society as I ought to. She first worked in land registry before joining the judiciary in 2012 as magistrate in Jinja. They wanted about 20 something or 35 magistrates. Across the country. Yeah, across the country. And uh, my, my husband, my, my husband now, who was my fiance then, he called me and told me there's this opportunity here. So he, um, he made an application for me and uh, submitted it. This time around, you got someone to help you? Yes, this time I got someone to help me. <laughs> so I submitted it. Her worship, Karobia Kutaga Kabugo, is a special woman. She is celebrated for ensuring equitable access to justice for all. She is the grade one magistrate at Luzira Court. Kabugo is praised for setting up a breastfeeding and waiting area for both female suspects, victims and witnesses, but also juveniles who come along with their parents to attend court sessions. What was unique about that place is that you find one woman is coming with, with about three kids, four, almost the same age. This one is crying, this one is doing this. So I felt that if I, could, if I created an area for these children where they can play from, meanwhile the, the mother is attending to other things. This initiative has checked absenteeism of female court users. Motivate them and encourage them further to continue coming and in a way once they come, you expedite their cases because you handle them first. You expedite their cases and they are good to go. And in a way, it also improves the image of, of, of our institution, yes. Because to be honest, the, the, the comments I used to get from, from Ginger, they were really energizing and uh, they were motivating me. Because I remember at one point when they, felt, when they heard that I was going to be transferred, they wanted to, cause, to cancel my transfer. But of course, I also want, needed to move from there to come closer to my family. Kabugo claims no cost on her, since she saw it as a necessity, as part of justice for all. I bought the mats at 120 each, 120. The chairs are just 
15,000 each. Uh, this, this one I got our office, office furniture. Then I got someone to draw for me the things. Of course, being a, a place for the kids, I needed to make it child friendly so that when the children come and they see the cartoons, they get so happy and they, they feel at home really. Magistrate Karo Kabugo has targets becoming a judge. I don't believe in, 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 in uh, this saying of, you know, jobs are for the known. Yes, yes, no, I am, I am a village girl who came from the mountain. Nobody knew me all through my story. Nobody knew me. But I went through because I always know that, yes, even if others are known, for me, the one who knows me is above the others. Raised from a humble background from Bundibujo district, Karo Kabugo is the only female lawyer from the district.